Hey guys, welcome back to the channel as always. Now this is another one of my 10K Lego investment challenge videos. I'm gonna film this one slightly differently because I've accrued quite a lot of Lego lately and it's time to get it all up in storage. So I thought I'd just do one video, if I, oh well, yeah, at all the sets in one go and run through the prices uh, and where I bought them from and the deal I got. So let's start off over here. Where as you can see, we're looking at the Horizon Tornix. I think I've got nine, nine here, and I bought these uh, on Amazon Prime Day. But Amazon Prime Day in France, they had these reduced to if uh, yeah to forty four pounds, which was a great price, lowest they've been. I mean, you could have got them for about forty to forty one if you signed up for Amazon France's free Prime trial, but I decided against that because I just don't think I would remember to cancel the trials. But very pleased with those, um, yeah, those nine for £44 each. Next, we have five Winnie the Poohs and uh, some ducks, some ducktails, four ducktails and uh, two Donald Duck Brickheads. Now, these were, or well, these items came from... Uh, directly from Lego and I utilized the Disney 100 gift with purchase promotion um, I believe now it was a while ago I think the threshold was a hundred and hundred no 95 to get the the free promo so Winnie the Pooh was a great shout I actually already own five but someone said they'd reset the limits I gave it a go and it, it worked so I was very pleased now most of these Winnie the Poohs, I actually uh, used, well, no, for all of these Winnie the Poohs, I used the sandwich code to get this set over here. But um, those sandwiches that came with these orders have already sent off to Amazon to sell. Obviously, I've already sold the Disney 100 promos too. I actually got quite a good price for these, sold them as pre-order on eBay. And uh, they sold for between like 33 to 36. So generally I got net 30. Would have got net for a bit more than that. But one came squashed so I had to sell it a bit cheaper. Now to work out the cost of each Winnie the Pooh set. I got 30 for each of the Disney 100 sets. And I got about 10 to 12 for each of the sandwich shops selling them on Amazon. Now... To make the total above 95, uh, for the majority of these, I just got two mini uh, key rings. Uh, there's all either mini or goofy key rings. Now, these key rings sell on Amazon for about 8 99 which is great because uh, I often look for things that I can quickly get me over the ref get me over the threshold to get the gift with purchases, but then items that have a good best sellers rank on Amazon that I can quickly send in sell get my money back or even a small profit and yeah basically lower the threshold needed to get the gifts so, so i did that so as i said so one winnie the poo plus two key rings cost a hundred pounds sold the um disney 100 for 30 so the sandwich shop for 10 that's 40 now looking back at 60 sold the two key rings uh, off for 10 for both so that brings it down to 50 so these were just about below 50 because as always i buy these things with gift cards and uh, there's obviously vip points as well moving on now we're looking at uh, a lot of things that i got from sainsbury's on clearance i think Got quite a few over 10 Minecraft bakeries here. And I think that's 11 Friends sailboats as well. And 9 Disney Pixar Lightyear Storm Battles. And 6 uh, Thor Love and Thunder Attack on New Asgard. Now the prices for these were very, very cheap. Uh, I'm sure you must have seen them on Hot UK Deals if you're in the UK. Minecraft's Bakery has a retail 20. They were reduced to 475. The Friends Sailboats were reduced from 40 to £9.50. The Four Love and Thunders were reduced, I believe, from 18 to 850. And the Disney Pixar Lightyear was reduced from its retail of 17.99 to £4.25. So they were all extremely good value. Um and uh, obviously, I did go to a couple more Sainsbury's and got the odd extra set, but uh, 
but no, nothing of this quantity. But it is worth noting that they are continually to restock these sets, so it is worth just having a nose if you live nearby. Up next, we've got Lego Batman, set number 76181. Now, we've got quite a few of them here. I'm not sure how many in total. I think about 15. And I, I know, yeah, it is 15, because I bought nine from Amazon France last week, where they had these reduced to 50% off. After postage, etc., they came to about, I, I think, about, was it 13 50 each, which I was very pleased with. The most recent six came from Amazon UK only arrived a few days ago actually and they had them reduced to 16 but I had some uh, I paid for them with some discounted Amazon cards which got them down by 50p more so they were about 15.50 each on average uh, if you add them up to work the mean oh sorry that's one of the dogs Fizz be quiet Fizz alright give me a moment a few moments later Probably a mean of about £14 each. Moving on, now we're looking at this set over here. It's a Lego City Space set, set number 6349. Um, this is a great set, actually. I'm very pleased with this. I got this from Amazon. They were half priced to 27 49 Got these a couple weeks ago now, or maybe in three weeks. And lots of sets were getting reduced throughout the day, but no one knew who Amazon were price matching. It then turned out to be Toys R Us, and Toys R Us then had some really good deals, but then there was a whole big debacle following that because Toys R Us basically sold lots of stock they didn't have, and other orders I placed on Toys R Us never arrived, and I did get refunded, so fair play. But if none of that had happened, I feel this is one that got away. Definitely was very pleased with this, but I think I should have got another another six, but... Uh, very pleased with the three I did get at 27, as I said, 49 each. Okay, so moving on again. Now, over here, uh, as you see, you can see our Grogu's, Thor's, Star Wars, and loads of free gifts. Now, some of these orders arrived today directly from Lego, but the ones that didn't was the Grogu's. And you can see there's 10 here and... Basically, I've got these from Asda over the last month. Now, Asda regularly stocks this set at, uh, I believe, yeah, £50. So, you know, it's, it's pretty good. The retail's 80 They always stock it at 50 not even a sale price. I'm not sure if that's just a long price there, but it's, it's a good price for me. You can fiddle around with cash back with these and gift cards, but so I get these personally delivered to the house and obviously there's a postage charge. So overall, that kind of negates any savings via cashback. But um, this, there is still small saving and it did these 10 worked out to be £49 each. Up here, we got some Venoms. Um, got these six from Amazon. These have a retail of £24.99 each. They had them reduced this week uh, down to 19.99 and a four pound voucher as well and i was pleased to pay for these please sorry yeah, pleased to pay 16 pounds for these it's the lowest they've been on amazon it's a set that i think could be a sleeper i think when the movie comes next year i feel their demand could do well i feel these might have a spike in demand i fur uh, i do like these mechs uh, kind of builds and if you look on Amazon to see what the original uh, Captain America mech and Thor mech are doing now, they're up to about 35 quid. And the fact they had a retail of nine um, shows the possibility what these things can get to. So I won't go too deep on these, but I am confident that there's a Venom free movie coming out next year. So uh, it'll be interesting to see how these perform. Okay, and now the last orders I've done, uh, which have just arrived, uh, were from lego.co.uk, taking advantage of the most recent offer, whereas if you spent over £130, you got a flower pot, you got a sandwich shop, and you got a 12-in-1 set. So the main Lego items that I bought to get the bulk of the orders were Force Hammers, which you can see here I got three, and Scythes, where I got two. But of all of these five orders, these are the only things here 
I am keeping for investment. Everything else that I bought to get the, the order total up to 130, I am selling. So which items did I pick to sell? Well, of course, I picked fast moving items on Amazon. Um, so let me just find them. So here, if they're, they are wrapped up like mummified, but as you can tell, they are Ahsoka key rings. These are $4.99 each, and there's three there, and they're already selling on Amazon for like $7.99, $8.99, with the Ahsoka TVs show as well. I'm sure they'll, they'll continue to sell at that price. It was just something I can quickly flip to get um, the threshold to get these free gifts down. Fizz, be quiet. Next, we've got the Valentine's Lovebirds, which are set number 4522. Fizz! A few moments later. Now, as you can see, I bought a few of these here. I think there's one underneath there as well, so it's about four. These have a retail in the UK for 11 99 and they're actually selling on Amazon right now for about 20 So... Flipping these is, is quite good because you don't only get your money back, you get a small profit as well. And oh, another one is this one, Heart Ornament, which if you watch this channel, you've seen I previously bought them. They did reset the, the, the levels of how many you can buy. So again, this one has a retail of $10.99 and um, on Amazon it's selling for about 20 and lastly, we've got these here, the Land Rover Classic Defender. Now, I bought five of these because these ones have a retail in the UK of thirteen forty nine, and they're currently selling for about twenty three twenty four. So again, you can flip them for a quick profit. And as I said, the main goal is to bring down the spends needed for the gift with purchase or to get the gift with purchases. Um, but I'm sorry, I've actually realized it's not finished just there because there's one more set I bought of back here, which is the Vespa. And again, bought for the same reason that these can be quickly flipped just to get your money back and make a few pounds. So that is everything. Now, I haven't yet worked out the total cost uh, of what this has come to, so I will just calculate that and let you know in a second. Okay, so calculations done, and every single set you see here has come to a total cost of £1,903.98. And if I add that to the running total, Totally in this challenge so far, I have spent £6,650.07. So over two, oh, almost over two thirds the way through now. Um, as I said, these videos aren't coming as frequently, so I do apologize about that, but just life commitments and all that. But I hope you've enjoyed this one, and I hope the next one won't be so long. See you soon, guys.